Hello， 大家好，欢迎大家来到读书时间。我们今天继续读《Soft Hearts: A Wrestling s a Mystery》这本书。好，我们现在开始。The package came from Running Health Industries in Toronto, Canada. Running Health Industries. According to the company's website, Running sold a large variety of pharmaceuticals, but only to licensed medical professionals. That seemed、uh, fishy. Doctorate, doctorate, was in English. One does doctor, doctorate was in English literature. I really wanted to open that box, and、uh, there was only one legal way to do it. I called Daryl and、uh, told him what I'd、uh, seen. What do you think? I pressed. Can you get a search warrant? Shouldn't be necessary. I'll ask Norris about it. Did you see a postmark date on the box? Hold on, please. I zoomed in on the photo I'd、uh, taken. October twenty first, just a couple weeks ago. I. Could hear him scribing in his little、um, notebook. If it got delivered to them by mistake, it seems odd that they wouldn't have returned it. That's what I was thinking. But if they stole it, it also it also it also seems odd they would keep it vi-、uh, visible to the world whenever the garage door is open. They aren't very dis-、uh, discreet, careful and、uh, prudent in one search. You know, they keep something confidential to avoid embarrassment. I said, "Remember your restaurant convers- conversation, Game Game of Thrones, my buckles, but but talks." But talks. But talks. Neither of the two round, fleshy parts of the human body that form the bottom, backside, are but talks. But if they stole it, why wouldn't they open it? You said the tape was still on the box. That's true. Stop it, Daryl. Stop trying to ruin my clue. I'll ask them about it," he said. "But it probably means borrow your cover. It means borrowing your cover. It probably means borrowing your cover. Maybe you could just ask them. Maybe you probably borrowing your cover." Maybe you could just ask them if they ever received any of Wanda's mail. Just say you understand that she may have ordered drugs illegally, and you're trying to get to the bottom of that. I didn't take more than an hour for him to call me back. It didn't take more than an hour to for him to call me back. Dish, I said. Daryl had、uh, spoken with Brad first. He told Daryl that the. He told Daryl that the package came to their address by mistake a couple of weeks ago, and、uh, he placed it、uh, on Wanda's porch that same evening. But then, he found it in his drive driveway. Again, early the next morning, on his way to his car, he was in such a hurry to meet a client. He said that he stuck the package on the shelf in the garage to deal with later. Then he forgot about it. He apologized for not remembering the incident. The other times, we'd have talked. Daryl said he sounded pretty convincing. Did you talk to Gail too? She said she didn't know about the package. 
it wasn't necessary something her husband would find uh, notable enough to tell her about. Again, pretty convincing. Did they give you the package? They did, and that's what's really interesting. According to uh, Daryl Scrawled, uh, scrawled uh, in black magic marker on the bottom of the package, which Brad swears was then written there the first time he saw the package and uh, which he didn't notice the second time the package arrived with the message. How dare you try to poison me? Wanda wrote that. I asked. I assuming so. I'm assuming so. We dusted for fingerprints and found Wanda's prints as well as Brad's. That's all. Then we opened the package. Inside was a prescription hand cream for dry skin. She definitely ordered it herself. She paid for it with a signed pay, uh, personal check that she mailed to the supplier and uh, she'd been a customer for over nine months. Beginning January, um, best guess is she was trying to get the wholesale price by being listed with the company as a physician. We confronted the suppli supplier who apologized for the oversight. Confronted the supplier who apologized for the oversight. They have a very good reputation over all, overall. No civil or criminal, criminal lawsuits fined. So I doubt it was intentional, but we reported to the uh, Canadian authorities anyway. If she ordered it, why did she reject it? I don't know, sorry Red, but this doesn't seem to be a smoking gun or knife. And I wouldn't go snooping in anyone else's house again under false pretenses. Snooping, act of uh, furtively trying to find out something special information about someone's private affairs. Fainting, furtive. Oops. Pretenses, pretense an attempt to make something that is not the case appear to a claim to to have a particular skill or quality. It makes me nervous. At least if you do it again, please don't tell me. Okay, I said grumpy, grumpily. I won't tell you that is. Maybe Daryl was right. Perhaps I'd have been focusing on the Norris's when there were other neighbors who had more in the way of motive and uh, opportunity. I visited the Fosters again on the pretenses of reminding Eleanor about Saturday's bake sale and uh, pie contest. She answered the door, looking all healed up, after sitting me and fetching some sweet tea for us both. She began praising Wanda's daughter for bringing a painting crew, which had radically transformed the house a ready exterior with a tasteful gray finish. It looks like a whole new house, she said. Maybe the next owners will actually take care of it. 
I needed to change the subject. Where's Phil? I asked, casually. I took a sip of my tea and watched her closely. What do you mean, where is Phil? At work. Where he always is. Always? I asked. I said, that's what I used to think Alan was doing working. Yes, I heard how Alan did you wrong. Uh, roll O N G. It's roll O N G. But you know, men will stay. It's in their natures. Oh, I said, I thought they also had something called free will. She laughed. The first time Phil had an affair, I acted just like you. I was devastated. I tried not to choke on a homemade ice cube. The first time I sputtered, sputtered, make a series of soft explosive or spitting sounds. Oh, Eleanor, just how many times are we talking about? I can't keep track. Oh, don't look at me like that. Don't look at me like that. It's only about the sex and animal urge. Women want kids, men want sex, and uh, they really aren't very picky. It's a, uh, it's as simple as that. But how can you? We have an agreement. No sneaking around. He always has to let me know who is. That way I don't get embar embarrassed at any of the events I cover for my newspaper column. You can relate that in investor party you had to attend with Miss Ryder cannot have been pleasant, but it would have been worse if you found that after the party that she was Ellen's mistress. I wouldn't believe it. Was I an honorary member of the Wake County Club for cheated on women without knowing it. And you? I asked her, are you allowed to cheat too? I suppose, but I love Phil. He's always been the, the only man for me. If there was such a condition as irony detection disorder, here was a text, textbook case. But it got worse, she added. You might think twice about letting Alan go. The older a woman gets, the harder it can be to find a single man who isn't seriously damaged. I was going to um, throw up in my mouth if I didn't redirect the conversation immediately. I asked uh, Eleanor flat out, did Phil have an affair with Wanda? She laughed. Heavens no, but she still wanted to humiliate, it, humiliate me. After that, this atrocious makeover, after that disastrous, disastrous makeover, she threatened to tell everyone on planet Earth that Phil was a, a serial cheater. What did you say to her? I told her to go right ahead. That most people already knew I was married to the most desirable man in town and I wasn't afra afraid for everyone else to know it. 好，谢谢大家。我们今天就读到这里吧，那我们下次再见了，拜拜。